the more professional impact investors very often have a theory of uh, change for themselves. So they understand why they invest in certain industries. They created um, a KPI framework maybe for themselves and then will ask you to track specific um, indicators or measures so they can also use it for their own uh, measurement. And especially if there are funds that have maybe co-investors that require or oblige them to, uh, to track certain KPIs then or to follow specific standards, then you will also have to adhere to that. Impact measurement is important for all the players around the social business, for the entrepreneurs, for the stakeholders, but of course for the investors as well, because they want to understand what is their return, uh, not only on the investment, but also on the impact side. If I'm a true impact investor, so to speak, I need to understand um, where do I allocate my money, uh, how do I use my resources well so that I can also increase my impact, uh, and therefore the entrepreneurs that I invest in need to measure their impact very clearly. Um, we all want to understand where is room for improvement, does the solution actually do the job well that it wants to do, etc. Um, yeah, and so in a way it's also important for the networks and the supporting mechanisms around the social entrepreneurs so they understand where to invest more of our times, of our resources and where less. There's different ways. Uh, very often I see that the early stage investors have discussions, debates with the entrepreneurs on a bilateral way and then they agree on a certain KPI framework or on certain uh, KPIs that they should track. Uh, so KPIs being key performance indicators, different uh, values such as, for example, how many people have participated in your job trainings or how many emissions have you reduced. So depending on your industry and on your service and product, you will come up with an individual set of KPIs that you both agree on tracking. Uh, and then on reporting as well, be it monthly, quarterly, or on a yearly base. It's, of course, a question, how deep do you need to go into the impact measurement? Can you use only a qualitative impact measurement method, or do you also need to quantify it? Um, is it a long-term study required or can you just take individual uh, assessments, so to speak, at specific times? So you need to understand uh, very well what your specific solution requires. And therefore, it's quite handy to have these uh, bilateral conversations. And if you are lucky, the impact investors also have lots of experience uh, and can actually help you with, with their know-how. Sometimes they also don't know it better and then maybe you need to educate them. So it can be both ways. Impact measurement is very difficult. First, there's a wide variety of different standards that you can use and different tools um, that you can uh, use. But most important is that you understand what is the objective actually. So what do you want to achieve? What's your vision? And therefore, how do you need to look into it, so to speak, so you understand that you actually achieve the vision, right? That the solution that you provide, the service or the product, actually does the job really well uh, in that way that it's uh, intended and not maybe even have a negative impact or so. So I think it's very strategic for every entrepreneur to measure their impact from the beginning, but you should be also wise enough to understand how deep you go into the impact measurement depending on the stage of development where you are. At the very beginning, when you're just prototyping, um, you don't need an in-depth, long, longitudinal research study. But after 10 years, maybe it's an interesting thing to do. What is a very uh, useful tool is the theory of change approach, uh, creating this impact logic. So basically, what do I input? What are my outputs? What is the outcome? And then what is the overall achieved impact? Um, that's a framework that helps you to understand each step, so to speak, and then also based on that, uh, look into the outputs very um, closely, which of the three or five outputs do you measure, so that you actually understand what the overall outcome is. Um, and then from there, you can derive an impact, but the impact definitely is more qualitative or is 
uh, not only quantifiable usually, and therefore it's also too difficult the whole conversation regarding impact measurement, but uh, also with a great narrative impact measurement, you can actually understand what your solution does. Yeah.